In this video of cell signaling, we will be discussing about intracellular signaling. It is a cell to cell communication through binding or through mediator molecules, what we call as signaling molecules. If we see the types of intracellular signaling, we divide it into four types. First is the contact dependent signaling, that is also termed as jextracrine signaling. Second is the paracrine signaling. Third is the endocrine signaling. And fourth one is the synaptic signaling. The contact dependent signaling occurs via membrane to membrane contact through ligands or through ligand receptor binding between the two cells. One noticeable example for contact dependent or jextracrine signaling is the notch signaling pathway or notch signaling, which occurs between the cells through ligand binding and its interactions. Then we have the paracrine signaling. It is a cell to cell signaling in close proximity. One cell secretes a signaling molecule that is received by target cells via receptors to initiate the signaling. But it must be noted that the signaling molecules affects the target cells in close proximity only. This type of signaling is seen in neurotransmitter signaling. Then there is endocrine signaling. It is a signaling between cells over long distances. But this involves medium through which signaling molecules travel to the target site. The signaling molecules are mostly secreted by glands in the form of hormones. And this hormone or signaling molecule are then carried to target site through blood stream. The example for this signaling is the hormones. And at last we have the synaptic signaling. It is a special type of paracrine signaling. But in this synaptic signaling the signaling occurs between no cell or neuron to target cell. Now let's see these different types of signaling through diagrams and animations. First we have the contact dependent signaling or jextracrine signaling. We know it occurs between the cells through contact. Here we see in this diagram that two cells adjacent to each other interact through ligands. On the signaling cell we see we have the notch ligand and on the target cell we have the DSL1 and jagged. And through their binding and interaction the signaling is initiated in the form of notch signaling. Second is the paracrine signaling. Here we see we have the signaling cell and it has got signaling molecules in it shown in the red color. And nearby to it we have few other cells in close proximity with receptors as shown in the diagram. The signaling occurs when the signaling molecules are secreted by signaling cell as shown in the animation. And then these signaling molecules are received by target cells in close proximity via receptors as shown in the animation. Now moving towards the endocrine signaling. Here we have the signaling cell that has signaling molecules in it in the form of hormones. And on the right we have target cells having receptors for these hormones. But these cells are distanced from signaling cell or we can say they are far away from each other. So in order to drive the signaling, we have a medium in between which is the bloodstream. The hormone molecules are secreted into the bloodstream and are then carried to the target site as shown in the animation. And ultimately, hormone molecules are received by the target cell through receptors. And through this way, the endocrine signaling is driven. And finally, we have the synaptic signaling in which the signaling cell is the no cell or neuron and on the right in close proximity we have the target cell with receptors. First when there is any action potential within the no cell that drives the expulsion of neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters are then received by the receptors of target cell that ultimately drives the signaling pathway forward. As shown in the diagram the neurotransmitters are secreted at exon terminal and are received by the cell by their receptors. So these are the basic types of intracellular signaling in which the cell to cell communication occurs. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.